This tutorial is designed to show you how to create a wiki in Blackboard 9. So we'll talk about creating a wiki, then the different uses for a wiki, and then grading the wiki. So just as with a blog, you can go under the tool area and down to wikis and you can actually create one. But probably a better idea is to go under a content area like assignments. And you'll notice there's an add interactive tool, cursor over that, and go down and left click on wiki. Now I'm going to create a new one and what I probably want to do for this, I'm going to give you an example as I do this, um, I might want to use some definitions. So um, maybe I'll give some guidelines like um, all definitions uh, must be chemically related. Okay, So I teach chemistry, that's what I want um, them to give definitions with. Now if I scroll down, I can edit this so that I can I'll allow students to edit it or not allow. And right now, since it's new, I want, to ed want them to edit it. And then grading options, maybe I'll make it worth five points. Okay, You don't have to grade this. Click Submit. And then it'll allow me to link to this in this content area. And I click Next. And once again, I have to I give, I give some options on availability. And I just have to click Submit. Now when I go into this, it'll open up because there's no content in there, a wiki page content. And maybe I want to make a definition for an atom. So I'll put as the name atom or whatever I, information I want to talk about. And I'll say something like um, um, the smallest um, building block of matter. And then I'll click submit. Now if I go in as a student, so if I go under that assignment area and I go under definitions, I can see this. Um, I'll see that there, someone has already added and I can see it was created by William Faber and um, that it has this definition of atom, smallest building block of matter. And I can actually make a comment on this if I didn't like it or I can edit it. Okay. Well, the first thing I want to do is create a new page as a student. So I looked and saw that definition had the word matter in it. And so I'm going to say matter is um, anything that has mass and occupies volume. And then I can hit submit. Now, the reason I did this matter is when I click on this atom definition, the word matter is in there. So now I can actually go in as a student or as a faculty member and click edit the wiki content. And I can highlight that word matter. And then right above it, you'll notice there is a, a link to wiki page little icon. And I'll click on that. And it automatically brings up if there's a page that already exists with matter. And I'm going to click on that and hit submit. And now I'm going to also hit submit. So I've ed created my own page, which are they have a list of these pages over here. And now the small atom, that first definition I read has a link and if I click on matter it links over to this. So other students might come in and make a link to mass or volume. So now back as a faculty member um, I can actually click on this participating in grading and I can see what's taken place and I can see that this student if I click on student 2 that's been involved um, that they made a second version of that Adam page and that they only modified one word, and that they made a new page. This one says it's the first version, and it was eight words long. And then I can scroll down, and I can edit their grade. I can click Edit, and I can give them points and some feedback. And then I just have to hit Save Grade. And I can repeat this for other students.